Hello and welcome back to another Empire Clash video. In today's video, we are going to be going over the location of bears and their loot in the new Roblox Empire Clash Hunter Skill Tree update. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and find some bears. Alright, before we head on on our expedition, let me show you one trick you can do while you're hunting for bears that will make you a little extra cash. So you can head up to one of these shops and purchase it. This will, uh, oh, I already own a property. This will make you a lot of money over time while you are hunting. Let's check how much money I made from my firearm shop. So as you can see, I made almost 400 coins, which is really nice to have, just to make some extra income while you're out hunting bears and getting the loot from their chests. So from what I can tell, bears spawn right here with these, uh, these like almost dog bone-ish emojis. So there's one right by Camp Dogwater and there's one right by the Mountain Estate. So we're gonna head to the one by Camp Dogwater first and the one by the Mountain Estate next. If you're wondering how to find all these X's, you're gonna wanna go and open your map, which you can find right here or by pressing M, and then going to, if you're on flags, go to the Mines tab, which is new and added in this update. All the X's are entrances and exits to uh, mines, and all these like bone emojis are where bear caves can be found. So let's head straight over to our first location by Camp Dogwater, and then we'll head to the one by Mountain Estate straight after. Alright, so most of you probably know this, but once you reach this crossroads, you're going to want to head right and we're gonna arrive straight at Camp Dogwater in just a bit of time. All right, perfect. We just arrived in time for daybreak. So let's head straight over to this little general store and the cave is right behind here. All right, so now that we've reached the cave, let's jump right in and I'll show you where the first bear is located. So as you can see, it does get a lot darker when you jump in. Some ways I've found to help with this just a tiny bit is in the settings tab. So as you can see, go over this little gear emoji, go over to render quality, change it to low, it'll get a tiny bit brighter, and make sure your shadows are disabled. Other than that, those are the only two that I've found that help uh, make it a tiny bit brighter. So this cave is much smaller than the other ones. As you can see, there's a bear right here, and if you shoot it, it will get very mad at you. So, let's see if we can't sneak past him and get this treasure. The mud, which is this, not the stone, does make you a lot slower. So let's see if we can open it. And perfect, we got three leather and six iron. Hopefully this bear doesn't realize that we just stole from him. So, as you can see, if I do, let me just make sure I'm close to the staircase, if I do shoot him with my hunting rifle, uh, he will get, oh, I have to reload it, hang on real quick. So, if I do shoot him, he will get very mad at me, so I'll just show you. Okay, so he will try and chase me, and if I didn't climb up this ladder, he would have killed me. Alright, so I'm going to set my uh, render quality back to high, so you can see me a little better. So, as you can see, that was me fighting the bear. I snuck past him and did take his treasure, but that's okay. And you can see I did get a tiny bit of loot, a little bit of iron, and a little bit of leather. I don't think it's worth killing the bear over, but you can sneak past him and get it and maybe get lucky and even get some gold. So now let's head to our second location, which is, as I showed you before, right here on the, by the Mountain Estate. So head back to the monastery and I'll show you where to go from there. Alrighty, so we're back in the monastery and let's head straight back behind it. Here's my location on the map. I'm heading straight out here to find our second bear cave location. 
So all you're going to want to do is jump off here and head straight towards that gate. I'll let you know when I'm there. Alright, so now that you've exited these gates, let's head straight along this path. And you're going to want to get to this red X by the Mountain Estate. Alright, so as you can see, we have entered, we have found the first red X uh, in this mining tunnel heading to the Mountain Estate. So we're going to just head straight here, and here's where we need to go. Now let's just jump off this side and head over to find the second bear location. Alright, so now that you've jumped down off this platform, you're going to want to head straight down this tunnel. You can swim, or you can walk on that slide. I like swimming, but that's my personal preference. So just head straight here. Do not go down this giant hole coming up. That'll only get you further away from where you want to go. And you're going to want to head straight down this waterfall. And you're just going to want to swim across this pond until you reach that piece of gold. All right, so here we are. We've reached this piece of gold, and you're just going to want to continue down this hallway. And I will show you where the second bear location is. This is, in my personal opinion, my favorite bear location because you're not forced to fight the bear to get the loot. You just have to be uh, good at parkour. This may be very hard for people on mobile, but if you have a mouse and keyboard, it should be that difficult. So as you can see, the treasure chest is there, you just have to complete this parkour. If you fall, however, the bear might try to eat you. So let's do this parkour. So you're going to want to cross this, so you're going to want to be very careful. I'd recommend going in first person when crossing this plank so you don't slip off. Then you're going to want to jump here and jump over here. There's another plank, you can choose either one, walk along it very carefully. And we get to the ladder, which is the hardest jump for sure. So I did make a first try, which is great. And now we've come to the loot chest. So let's open it up and see what we get. Oh, so I have recently looted this chest, so I can't loot it again. Um, that's too bad. But last time I looted it, I got 10 iron, which didn't seem that worth it to you, but hey, make your own decisions. All right, after returning from your hopefully successful bear raiding mission, I'll show you where you can come sell your loot. So if you head to any of these stores, you can see that you can sell iron, coal, leather, and gold. So whatever you got, sell it here. Make sure you don't sell it after the price changes. So you can see there's 10 in stock and the price changes at 10, so I'm not gonna sell it, sell any of my gold because I'll get way less money than I would. That goes for leather, iron, the price changes at 30, and coal, the price also changes at 30. If you have any stone, sell it whenever because the price will never change. So let's see, I have 46 stone. So let me sell my 46 stone and make a little bit of money. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you found some bear loot and even got a bear pelt. If you found a bear pelt, head straight over to the tavern and you can sell the bear pelt for a good amount of money. As you can see, bear pelts are worth 150 coins, which is a good amount of money if you can successfully kill them. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to be filming an another one soon, and we're going to try to successfully kill a bear, alright? So, just what he says, bear. Let's, let's get a bear in the next video. I hope you enjoy this one, and it was slightly helpful. Enjoy this new update, and there'll be another video coming very soon. Thank you.